What's up guys, my name is Jerry and today we're going to be talking about how Anthony Simons will be the next breakout player in the NBA and we're going to jump right into the video. Now Anthony Simons is a 6 foot 3, 181 pound guard for the Portland Trail Blazers and he was taken in the 2018 draft with the 24th overall pick and every year that he's been in the NBA he has continuously gotten better. In this previous NBA season, Anthony Simons is coming off the best year of his NBA career. And I would say last year was not ideal at all for the Portland Trail Blazers. We've seen them trade away almost all of their key rotational players, including CJ McCollum. And that's something I thought I'd never see. And then we also seen Damian Lillard get shut down for the rest of the season, dealing with his abdominal injury. So I feel like with all of these things going on, CJ getting traded, Dame out for the season, it gave Anthony Simons a lot of opportunity to shine. And I think he flashed so much potential. And based off what I've seen for last se from last season, I think Anthony Simons is poised for a breakout year. And in this video, we're gonna talk about all of the components that are gonna go into him having a breakout season. And number one, we're gonna talk about the skill level that Anthony Simon possesses. Now, skill is probably gonna be the most important component on our list. If you're gonna have a breakout season in the NBA, you're definitely gonna have to have a lot of skill. And I'm a big fan of Anthony Simons, and I think he is so good, man. I became a fan of the Portland Trail Blazers um, in 2018, like I became a huge fan of Damian Lillard, that playoff run that he went on that year with the shot against OKC. I felt like that was so crazy. So I've been keeping up with the Portland Trail Blazers since 2018. And when they suffered the injuries to Dame and trading everyone away, you know, I still watched them. And Anthony Simons, he, like, he really caught my attention. Like every game he played, it just seemed like he kept getting better and better. And when I look at him, I literally see, it looks like like Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum had a baby and I mean that in the most unweirdest way possible but I really see a mixture of those two guys in Anthony Simons you could just tell he was in the gym at practice soaking up all the information and pinning a lot of work with those two guys and and I say he reminds me of those two guys because He's a great three-point shooter, and he has some range on his jump shot. So I see that from Damian Lillard, but I also see the shiftiness and the creativity from C.J. McCollum in his game as well. But in all seriousness, Anthony Simons, he can do just about everything on the offensive side of the ball, and he is a confident three-level scorer. You look at his three-point shot, and I think this is so important for the team that he's on. He can knock down the three ball off the catch, and also off the dribble. And you look at his release, you look at his shot form, it is actually very pretty. He has a beautiful shot and he gets it off very quickly. And when you have a quick release, when you get that thing out of there very fast, it forces the defense to play you very carefully and they can't make any mistakes. And with the basketball in his hands, he does a great job of coming off screens. And as soon as he come across that pick, he is a threat to knock down the three-point shot. And for Simons, he can also get to the mid-range area. He's one of those players that can go full speed downhill, stop on a dime, and pull up for the midi. And my favorite part of his game, and I think it's very underrated, Anthony Simons, he has won a slam dunk competition, but that doesn't do him any justice. And I'm talking about finishing. He does a great job of finishing his layups. He can finish with both hands. He's very crafty and agile. He can make the acrobatic layups, and he can also finish through contact. And we got to remember, this guy is super athletic, so he can get up and punch it on you. So, And this is why I say, like, He's a mixture of Dame and CJ, and then to tie it all in and make things even better, he's more athletic than both of those guys. So he's really a hybrid NBA player, and I think his skill set is going to play a huge role on him having a huge breakout, um, a huge breakout year next NBA season. And also, I think the parts around him is really good for Anthony Simons. 
And before we go any further in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, a digital security company called Aura. And me personally, I've had the app for two days now, and it's already been super beneficial to me. As soon as I created my account and logged in, Aura notified me about six of my passwords being leaked to the dark web and what i love about this app is that it was very easy for me to identify what those six passwords were and i was able to change them immediately and the cool thing about aura is that they don't just monitor leak passwords but they also keep an eye on your email your social security number and your credit card they make sure none of these things are surfacing on the dark web and if they do find anything they send a notification to your phone or your email so you can get things taken care of as soon as possible and what I love about this app is that it's very convenient but it's also super cool and easy to use and thanks to my partnership with Aura you and your family can get a free 14-day trial to try the app for yourself and make sure that any of your information is not out on the dark web all you have to do is go to aura.com slash champion and that link will also be in the description and in the comment section. Thank you guys for listening. And now we can get back to the video. And that's another thing that I think is so important when it comes to a player having a great individual season. They must have the right pieces around them. And I love what the Portland Trailblazers have done this offseason, bringing in Jeremy Grant and Gary Payton II. And then they also have some very key guys coming back from injury. Damian Lillard, their best players, one of the best point guards in the NBA he's gonna be coming back fully healthy next season and they're also getting back their starting center Yusuf Nurkic he's gonna be coming back from a foot injury so we look at these guys we only look at the projected starting five of the Portland Trailblazers and this is what I think it would be and this is the lineup I would throw out there to start Damian Lillard and Anthony Simons in the backcourt I would go with Josh Hart at the three and then Jeremy Grant and Yusuf Nurkic at the four and five. And what I like about this lineup when it comes to Anthony Simons, they have two guys and, and this is on the defensive side of the ball. They have two guys in Josh Hart and Jeremy Grant that can guard multiple positions. And I think that is so important when you have two guys in your lineup like Damian Lillard and Anthony Simons. And not that these guys don't try on the defensive side of the ball, but they're smaller players in the NBA. And we know each and every year, it seems like the, the offensive, the, the, the goal of the offensive team is to attack the smallest player on the court. So when you have guys that can guard multiple positions in the lineup I think that's very key and then you look at what the and then you look at it offensively and I like this lineup offensively because there won't be a lot of pressure on one guy on the court and specifically Anthony Simons he won't have to worry about having to he won't have to worry about scoring 30, 40 points per night. He won't have to worry about getting trapped every play because the Portland Trailblazers, they're going to have great spacing and they're going to have other weapons on the court. They're going to have Damian Lillard. I don't have to tell you guys too much about him. We know how cerebral he is. You have a guy in Josh Hart that I think is so underrated. Offensively, he has gotten so much better at creating his own shot. Last season in his short tenure with the, with the Portland Trailblazers, he put up 20 points per game. He so he can knock down his catch and shoot threes and he's also a good enough passer to hit his teammate in the position to where they can score the basketball and then you have Jeremy Grant I love him he's another guy that can play off the ball and on the ball which is so important for this Portland Trail Blazers roster and then they have the big man Yusuf Nurkic that gives you a little bit of everything he's going to be very important in this offense as well because he's going to be the guy setting the tone by setting those great screens and rolling hard to the realm. So I think the pieces that the Portland Trailblazers have around Anthony Simons is going to set him up to be super successful. And lastly, I love the Portland Trailblazers system and I love their coach, Chauncey Billups. I think this is another important component when you look at the system and the coach of an NBA team. And I actually love Chauncey Billups. He is a part of one of the most underrated championships in NBA history. He defeated the 2004 Lakers 
Lakers, Shaq and Kobe and that Pistons team, they did it without a single top 75 player in NBA history. But when we look at Chauncey Billups and we looked at his facility, um, his philosophy so far, he stresses two things, ball movement and playing hard on the defensive side of the ball. And I think specifically on the offensive side of the ball, this is going to be great for Anthony Simons. And I think the Portland Trailblazers, they definitely have the personnel to run this type of offense to perfection. They have the tools to just keep moving that ball around. They have multiple guys in this lineup that can cut hard to the rim, like Josh Hart and Jeremy Grant. And then one through four, all four of these guys, they can run off pin downs. They can run off flare screens. They can catch it off that screen, knock down a three-point shot, or they're good enough to make one quick move and and get a basket and all of these guys they don't need to dominate the ball Damian Lillard doesn't need to dominate the ball to be effective Anthony Simons does not have to dominate the ball Yusuf Nurkic doesn't have to dominate the ball so I could see them moving that thing around a lot and also a lot of pick and roll and I think that's going to be a great um, set for the Portland Trailblazers they have two guys that can run it to perfection Damian Lillard and Anthony Simons super dangerous coming off of a screen and then they have a great role man and Yusuf Nurkic now Yusuf Nurkic is so underrated he's a great playmaker great finisher around the realm and he can catch that ball off the short roll and he can do a lot of things with it he can knock down the mid-range shot he can create a play with his passing or he can get all the way to the rim so the way i'm looking at things anthony simons he has the skill set to be one of the best young players in the nba he has the right players around him and i feel like he has a great young coach and a great system with the portland trailblazers and chauncey billups i think all of these things are pointing to him having a breakout season so that's going to be it for this video if you guys enjoyed please leave a like comment down below if you agree or disagree and then subscribe subscribe for more weekly content we do this all the time man and that's curtains